Hey everyone, it's Paul from One Cast One Fish, and today we're back with the Evan Rude E Tech. Today we're going to be performing cylinder drop tests using our Evan Rude diagnostic software. These tests are dynamic, which basically just means the engine needs to be running to perform these tests. We'll be performing a dynamic ignition test, which is going to disable the ignition and fuel injection to one of our cylinders. Our other test we'll be performing is a dynamic fuel test. And this test is basically going to disable one fuel injector circuit per cylinder at a time. By performing these tests and dropping one cylinder at a time, the RPM and run quality changes can be compared to each cylinder as we perform the test. Now we're going to get the motor set up and ready for testing and head out on the water. The other item that's going to need to be removed is this plastic cover over top of the engine. Now that we're on the water, we're going to get the Evinrude Diagnostics cable set up, hooked to the motor, and to our laptop computer. The Evinrude Diagnostics cable should plug right in. Now we'll be plugging the other side into our computer. With the Diagnostics cable connected, we're going to turn the engine to the on position. Not started, just the on position. Now we're going to log into our Evinrude Diagnostics software. Once you're logged into the EV diagnostic software, we're going to come over here on the lower left and hit connect to connect to our motor. We're not going to be saving this file, so we're just going to cancel. Now on the upper left under diagnostics, we're going to go to testing. The test we'll be performing today are dynamic test, and that's going to be the second tab over. Here you're going to find your dynamic ignition test and your dynamic fuel injector test. These are the two tests we'll be performing today. With testing ready to begin, we're going to start the motor and let it warm up. There's a few things I want to point out on our testing screen. First you'll notice that we have the ignition test and the fuel injector test. And since this is an e 150, you'll have the option to disable cylinder 1, through six for each test. In the lower left hand side of our testing screen you'll notice we have our engine RPM, our current system voltage, and our idle controller load. The engine idle controller is what manages our engine RPM while at idle. Now if you'll look in the lower right hand side of the testing screen you'll see an option to disable the idle controller. And this will come into play a little bit later as our dynamic testing for our ignition test and fuel injector test require us to disable the idle controller. At this time we're going to disable the idle controller and you'll notice our RPMs picked up as the idle controller is no longer managing our engine speed. Before we begin our testing I need to show you what we're looking for when performing these tests. One of the functions of these tests is to help troubleshoot and isolate problems related to a lack of fuel or spark to a specific cylinder. When performing these tests we'll be removing fuel or spark from one cylinder at a time. During these tests, we'll use a look and listen approach. We'll be looking at the data on our computer from the Evinrude EV diagnostic software, and we'll be listening for changes in engine speed and overall running quality during each test. One important thing to note is that this testing should be performed at the engine RPM where issues are present. We'll now proceed with our ignition test and disable cylinder number one. I want to point out that when we activated the ignition test for cylinder number one, you should have noticed a drop in engine RPM and a change in the sound and the running quality of the motor. Now this is completely normal and to be expected on a properly functioning ignition system for cylinder number one. Since with this test we basically removed our ignition from cylinder number one, causing the motor to run rough. Now if we noticed no change an engine run quality, that would indicate we have a potential ignition issue with cylinder number one. And further troubleshooting of the ignition system for cylinder number one will be needed. 
We'll now continue our ignition test for the remaining cylinders, two through six. We'll now proceed with our fuel injector test and disable cylinder number one. I want to point out that when we activated the fuel injector test for cylinder number one, you should have noticed a drop in engine RPM and a change in the sound and running quality of the motor. This is completely normal and to be expected on a motor with a properly functioning fuel injector for cylinder number one. Since with this test we basically removed our fuel injector circuit from cylinder number one causing the motor to run rough. If we noticed no change in engine run quality that would indicate we have a potential fuel injector issue with cylinder number one and further troubleshooting of our fuel injector for cylinder number one will be needed. Now we'll continue our fuel injector test for the remaining cylinders two through six.
with testing complete, we can now enable our idle controller in the lower right hand corner. We can also press disconnect in the lower left hand corner to disconnect our EV diagnostic software from our motor. That's going to complete our dynamic ignition and dynamic injector testing on our Evinrude Rudy Tech. Now we can disconnect our diagnostic cable from our computer and from our motor. And don't forget to put the diagnostic connector back into its proper holder and ensure that there's no wires or anything that may get caught somewhere. I won't keep you and bore you with the last step. We're just going to reinstall our plastic cover and our cowling on the motor. I hope this video is helpful in teaching you how to run basic diagnostics on your Evan Rudy Tech specifically the dynamic ignition testing and our dynamic injector testing. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time on the water.